Hey, good people. My name is Yvette Madison, and I will be your instructor for this course. Uh, this course is SOC 205, Race, Class, and Gender in Society. I want to start by telling you a little bit about myself, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about this course. So again, my name is Yvette Madison. I am a professor of social work here at Pennsylvania Highlands Community College, and I have my bachelor's degree in psychology from Seton Hill University, my master's in social work from the University City of Pittsburgh in Oakland. Uh, I've been a professor here at the community college since 2003. Oh my goodness, it's a long time, y'all. Um, <laughs> I started here as an adjunct in the spring of 2003 and became full-time in fall 2004. Uh, and I truly, truly enjoy teaching here at the community college um, within my discipline, which is sociology and social work uh, and some of the counseling courses. So this course, let me tell you a little bit about this course. Um, again, the title of it is Race, Class, and Gender in Society. And this course is one that is one of my favorites to teach, simply because it challenges us to kind of go beyond our comfort zone. Now, I will say this to you, good people. We are going to be talking about um, some very interesting um, topics, and we're going to be exploring some inter interesting issues. So I'm going to encourage you and invite you to truly, truly think about what you're thinking about, to buckle up and put on your safety belt, pull down the safety harness, click, click, make sure it's in place and secure uh, so we can have some good conversations uh, on the discussion post. Um, one of the things that I want to encourage you to do, uh, as I encourage in all of my classes, is I encourage you to speak your truth, um, to be comfortable, to be confident in speaking your truth. Uh, and in order to do that, one of the things that I provided for you in this week's module is a document, I gotta put my glasses on y'all, is a document entitled The Multicultural Game, Rule, Game Rules for Discussion. And I just wanna point out some of the things that are on this sheet that I uh, was able to download. I found it very helpful. Although this is coming from the University of Michigan, it is one that the information on this sheet is very transparent and something that I want us to be comfortable in doing and um, following as we go throughout this semester. Um, I'm not gonna read the entire sheet to you, because if you all have had me in class, you know I do not read to you all that much. I would encourage you to read over the sheet that's in the module, but I wanna just point out a couple of things and speak on them. One of the issues or one of the statements that it has here on the sheet is states, we acknowledge that sexism, classism, racism, heterosexism, and other forms of discrimination, uh, religion, age, ability, language, education, size, geographic location, that it exists and it may surface from time to time. We can't be afraid, again, of talking about the issues or the positions that are presented before us on a regular basis. So when we first become comfortable just acknowledging the existence of it, we can then begin to tap into that comfort zone and begin to become comfortable being uncomfortable. Oh, meaning that we can begin to explore some things and do so at a pace that is still comfortable and secure for us, but we're beginning to step outside of or beyond our, our foundation. Another thing that it says here is that we acknowledge that one of the meanings of sexism, classism, racism is that we have been systematically taught misinformation about our own group and members of devalued groups. We have to be able to recognize that our truth may not necessarily be everyone's truth. And so we gotta be aware of that. And I encourage you to be comfortable in exploring someone else's truth. Now, now hold on, good people, hold on. I can see the eyes rolling. I heard somebody sucking their teeth. I'm not saying that you have to believe someone else's truth, but just be prepared to receive or to hear what someone else's truth may be. Another thing that's on this sheet is states that victims should not be blamed for their oppression. I think that's something that is very um, unfortunately common to do. And so we got we have to 
challenge ourselves to learn how to undo those things. Uh, one of the last things that it says on here is that we will challenge the ideas or the practice, but we will not challenge the person. Mm. We can't call a duck a duck if we're not ready for someone else to call us what we're presenting ourselves as. Uh oh, uh oh. So we got to hold on, y'all. We got to hold on and be respectful of the information being shared. Challenge the information being shared, but don't attack the person sharing the information. We got to learn how to play nicely in the sandbox. The very last thing that it says, and this is very important, is that we will speak our discomfort. I don't want you to shy away from any of the information or the topics that we're going to be exploring this semester. As I stated earlier, I want you to be confident and comfortable speaking your truth and also feel the same speaking your discomfort. When you feel like you need to say, ouch, trust me when I tell you in this class, it's okay to say, ouch, and it's okay to explain why something may have kind of slid in the wrong way, may have been said the wrong way, may have been typed the wrong way since we're going to be on discussion post. All right, good people. So that's a little bit of introduction of myself as your instructor and some of the expectations that I have for us in this class. We do have a textbook that we will be using um, and that textbook is a reader and meaning that there are a, it is a collection of articles and you'll notice on the course schedule that I've divided up the different topics and how we're going to be exploring them. And it is going to be very important, good people, that you read the articles before participating on the discussion posts. So I am charging you with that assignment to please be mindful to read your articles before um, you participate. There will also be some supplemental articles that I post, some videos that I post, and different assignments that we have throughout the semester, just to, again, begin to stretch our imagination, stretch our thought process beyond the foundation. Now, I'm not saying necessarily that the foundation is all crooked and wrong, but good people, we have to acknowledge that every now and then the foundation may get a crack. Mm -mm. And then how do you fix that foundation? What are you going to use to fill that crack? You can't use the same cement that was used to pour the foundation. So you got to fill it with something else. And I hope you take the opportunity in this class to expand your horizons and try to fill some of the cracks that may have formed in your foundation with some good information. All right, y'all. So join me on the discussion post. Um, this week's discussion is just introducing yourself to your peers and to myself, um, becoming familiar with using Brightspace, which I'm hopeful that you all are already familiar with, and just kind of beginning the reading process with some of the, the readings coming up in the next couple of weeks. All right, y'all. I am going to enjoy this class, enjoy meeting with you all, and I will see you on the discussion post. So in the meantime, I bid you love, peace, and bacon grease. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to contact me by email or on my office phone. All right, y'all. Peace out.